When, when you have your VA, you guys are using Kevin. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it seems like Kevin's doing a lot more than just making calls because now you've had him for a while and he's very skilled. So he's doing some Facebook things, uh, if, I'm, if I'm understanding this correctly, which is sort of where I want to go with my VA. Up until now, for eight months, she's been doing just calls. So mm -hmm. she's skilled. Um, I can have her do more things like posting properties, et cetera. But going back to the point Ron Legrand made in the beginning that when you – have a VA, the best and highest use, and you said this too, is making calls. But then we start to have them do other things. They don't really want to make calls. It's the human nature thing. They'll find any other way, like Ron said, to do anything else other than that. So how do you keep Kevin like in check that make sure that he's doing his calls, but yet at the same time, not spending all day marketing properties or like, is it just because they mm -hmm. recall recordings? Or do you say, Kevin, you're on a four hour shift. You can do one hour of, you know, our marketing and then the other three hours I want to see you on calls. How, how do you monitor that, you guys? Yeah, so I just, I set priorities with Kevin. And as long as he follows that hierarchy of priorities, um, to me, that's more important than how many hours he's actually putting in on the phone, making outbound calls to sellers. Remember, most of the deals we're getting now are inbound leads from Facebook. Because mm -hmm. if you know, we can get an uh, inbound motivated seller lead through Facebook for less than $5. Now, all of a sudden, his Kevin's highest and best use of his time is not making outbound calls anymore. It's being ready to call that seller lead that comes in immediately. You know, speed to lead is important. Uh, so that's his top priority. If a seller lead comes in, he's on it. He's going through the opening call script with them and teeing up a closing call for Ashley or Brandy. Um, second to that <clears throat> would be, you know, any other, I'm trying to think, probably second to that is his property marketing process. Uh, so if we've got these deals under contract, Ashley or Brandy, whose ever deal it is, is monitoring that. But Kevin helps set up the Facebook campaigns for uh, marketing those properties. So as soon as we get the contract in, Ashley or Brandy will reach out to Kevin and say, hey, let's go ahead and start the property marketing process for this deal. Here's the numbers, that sort of thing. Um, second or third to that is, I think right now we've got him handling a lot of um, client tech setup, you know, if we're doing any custom work for clients these days, he'll handle a lot of that. Um, he's also working on training VAs that we have screened and hired four clients uh, along with that custom work stuff that we started doing recently which i'm not sure how much longer we're going to do that it's kind of a pain in the butt we're not we are not doing any more yeah. we're done we're done we, we filled up the pipe so to speak yeah with I, it's customer, uh like, too yeah, big of a like, response on that so we're done. yeah um so yeah at, at this point we kind of tapped kevin out and so i haven't looked in his mojo recently to see how much time he's actually spending making outbound calls but i think it's minimal uh, primarily because he's got more important things to do those outbound calls are you know i mean and i used to say this all the time that is your cheapest cost per deal and it was until we started getting five dollar motivated seller leads on facebook i mean that that changed the game for me and my business and now we're doing all these virtual deals i know we've talked about this recently but I mean, it changes the, the economics of the whole business. When you, you can pay $5 for a lead instead of 50, 90, 150, $300 a lead. It just changes the game for us. Does that answer your question, Sophia? Yeah, very. No, I kind of rambled on there a little bit. I'm I figured sorry. because I, I, knew that, I knew it was changing, you know, the dynamics of it. And I just wanted to confirm it. So yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking all along. Same with my VA. It just seems like with the, the Facebook, which I'm going to launch this week, it will change it too. And, you know, I just wanted to be ready for that call and, you know, do some marketing yeah. things and uh, just keep her well-rounded because I think it's help more healthier for them too, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, th I think you're on the right track with that. Uh, Cause you know, like you were saying before, they don't, some of them don't like making calls. Kevin, I think actually likes getting on the phone with sellers. I think he really enjoys it. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I think he's, more interested in doing that surprisingly than doing all the rest of this tech setup which i'm having him do mm -hmm. which he is happily doing because he likes his job and 
and likes working with us and just wants to, you know, do what we need and do what needs to get done. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so di- different people like different stuff, you know, uh, I, I think he's probably better on the phone than he is at tech setup. And I don't mean any offense to Kevin, if he's listening mm-hmm. to this call, call recording later, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, if your VA is more on the tech side, less on the calling side, then, you know, why not capitalize on that a little bit? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, okay. I mean, they're, they're I mean, obviously they're, they're people too, just like mm-hmm. us, right? You know, it's mm-hmm. like they, they all have their strengths and weaknesses too.